when she sent me a succulent across the country, when the growing thing showed up on my doorstep named Survivor in her handwriting, I took this to mean that she believed in our survival, in our someday promise, in our upward growth. So I took the plant, plant, surrounded it with soil and water, and placed it in the windowsill as a sun-seeking reminder to stretch limbs to light, to survive even on the days when our love was mostly hurting. As it turns out, the plant is still surviving, even though her and I did not make it out alive. Upon our uprooting, there was a lot of spilled dirt. Delete the pictures, take off the ring, scrub my brain clean of her memory, of her morning sweat skin, of her body spilled all over mine. Stare at the plant in the windowsill. Wonder if I should let it starve. Wonder if I should let it feel the light leave its veins the same way I did on the day she decided to stop loving me. But as it turns out, succulents can survive dry, even when the soil turns to dust, which is to say... The plant refused to die even when I refused to water it, unlike the love that refused to live when I rang myself bone dry for it, like I would have loved you forever until I became shriveled mass, until I turned into pieces of earth, but whatever you and I planted in each other died before the succulent, and I used to feel mocked by this. This plant that stayed intact even when I tried to let it fall to pieces. But eventually I realized that the plant was not out to get me. In fact, it wasn't growing for anybody but itself. I began to notice it shed dead, rotting leaves, collect them at its base, and turn them back into soil, able to feed itself out of its own disaster, to cyclically grow from its own pain, and maybe her and I planted roots too close, wrapped vines around each other's wrists, traded air for a dying high, for a CO2-sucking kiss, too heavy to stand on our own and falling cyclically away from the light. I realize now that I cannot grow for anybody but myself. I cannot hold on to our rotting or act as though the spaces between my body are things to fear now that she is not around to fill them. I am the survivor, sun seeking my hands towards the light, gripping the dirt for dear life, lucky enough to be able to grow.